Tyler, your coach described you as a tough guy. Uh, how do you feel about that description from your coach, and, and do you buy into that? Yeah, I mean, I, I think I play with the chip on my shoulder. You know, I always have that uh, the belief that my my coaches and my teammates believe in me, but I'm always, or fans, whatever, I'm always going out there like nobody believes me. I'm going to go out there and prove myself every single game. Um, you never know who's in the stands. You never know who's watching. So I'm going to go out there and give him my all. Um, he's definitely right. I need to be smart when I'm playing, but – uh, I, I just got to do what it takes to go in and get a first down, get get a touchdown. But uh, you know, I'm 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 a tough guy on the field, but I like to have fun. I'm pretty similar to Coach Wire. We get along in that way. I, I like to joke, like to have fun. Uh, I feel like I have a really good relationship with my teammates. So um, when I'm on the field, it's kind of a different person. But uh, when I'm off the field, you know, I like to switch in that mode. But you can't always stay on all the time. People are juiced about Texas Tech going into the season. How are you feeling about the year? I, I feel great. I wouldn't. You know, this is my sixth year. You know, you going to college, you wouldn't. You don't envision being in college for six years, and you know I've had some injuries, um, but you know God's really blessed me with this position, and I wouldn't want to be anywhere else. You know we're playing uh, great new teams in this new conference, we're playing a good uh, non-conference opponent in Oregon. Um, you know all my teammates, we we're literally like brothers. You know there's no better culture I've been a part of, so I just can't wait. You still have some homies at Oregon? Oh yeah, yeah, I yeah. got a couple of roommates. Uh, coaching staff's different, but I still got some friends. It'll be good to see them. Tyler, you, you mentioned that uh, the road is, is winding and, and you weren't planning on being here six years, but how have you been able to maintain your perspective and, and an even keel when there has been some just crazy frustrations for you in your career? Yeah, I mean, it, you just take it one day at a time. You know, I, I really I find my love throughout the process. You know, going in there and working out with my teammates, I take more joy in that sometimes than even game day. You know, game day is a celebration, but I really love the process of it, going out there working with my teammates um, that's where you get the most out of it is, is spending time with them in the off season, and then really celebrating throughout the season what we've kind of accomplished. Um, but yeah, you know, I mean, football is a is a dangerous sport. Football is a tough sport. You you work all year for 12 games and uh, hopefully 13, 14, 15. Um, but you just got to take e each opportunity for what it is and then take advantage of it. So I think this year we're really due for um, you know a lot of great things, and we're excited for some new opponents. How does five and zero as the starter last year and eight and zero when you start and finish a game sound? What 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 is it? What is it about that that has led you and the team to success recently? I just think it's you know obviously it's not me it's our teammates doing the whole thing you know we got a, a really good uh, really good group coming back this year and that was kind of one of the reasons I wanted to come back is get to put a put a whole year together and um, I really just have that belief in my teammates and in myself that you know we go out there and do what we do there's no one that can stop us and. Um, I think that just that was evident in those last games is just going out there and playing free. Um, so I think we can put it, keep putting together um, that confidence and, and just playing for each other. Um, it should be pretty fun. What is the identity of Texas Tech football right now? I think it's West Texas, West Texas tough. Um, I think we're just a tough group. We're going to play fast and play physical. You know, we may not have a bunch of five stars. We may not have all these kids from all over the country, but we got a bunch of Texas boys who, who are going to play hard and they're nitty gritty. Um, I kind of adopted that mentality. Being from Arizona, um, it's pretty similar to West Texas. Um, but just coming here, and I, I fully embrace the Lubbock mindset of, you know, we're going to go out there and put work in, and we're going to we're going to go outwork you and put the and put a W on the board. And you know, even when something bad happens, you know, things are not going to go our way, but we're going to keep bouncing back. So um, I really love the the people there, the blue collar. Um, it's just kind of a it's a really good easy mindset to to adopt and. On the the, pro the program, the university, the fan base is just you know they're, they're behind you. When you had Tony Bradford Jr., Jalen Hutchings, and last year Tyree Wilson off the edge, was that hard in practice to go up against those D linemen? Those are some dudes. Yeah, it's hard every day, man. And we got <laughs> they're, they're they're always running right running right by you. They can't touch you, but they they let you know that you're there for sure. Um, but yeah, I mean, you you get to see what you know game day is going to be like, and you you get to have those live reps as much as you can create. Um, obviously, it's good that they're not tackling you, but that would be pretty bad. But, you know, that, you know, I was more happy than anybody. I was kind of recruiting them to come back. I got them a couple – hopefully recruiting them with some PS5s to come back this year. <laughs> uh, they were, I don't know. They, they might have been joking with me. They were thinking about leaving. <laughs> thinking about now. I'm like, come on, just come back. I got uh, – we'll get some for you. But You did an NIL deal with your teammates to return? Not an NIL deal. <laughs> <laughs> I was out of pocket money. <laughs> they, they were – yeah. They, we that, Basically, I'm saying is like it's good to have them back because yeah, they're, they're two sure. veteran D linemen. Um, yeah, it's, they're going to make a huge difference for our team, and I, I hope they're using their PS5s right now. <laughs> <laughs> right that, this that, second, that yeah. concept we're we're broaching into something that could could gain some momentum there. Teammates <laughs> recruiting teammates with other yeah, any means. Yeah, that's, that's what we do. We Let's do, go. 
you know, if you come back each year, you're going to get taken care of, and we're, we're going to yeah. have a lot of fun. As no, but that's real. Like you, you, you love your teammates. You don't want them to transfer or go pro unless unless it's the best for them. But like, yeah. hey, you guys have something special too. Like those guys returning means something for this year. Huh. And last year, you beat Texas and Oklahoma in the same year for the first time ever. Like, what what did that mean? And what does that mean for this year? I mean, candidly, it didn't really mean anything to us as far as, you know, we're just trying to go out there and play each opponent for what it is. I think yeah. it's a cool fan base, um, you know, perspective to, to really the long tradition of it. Um, but for us, I think we take each game, you know, and play as if they're just a nameless, faceless opponent. Um, that's what you can do. And for me, going to playing against Oklahoma, you know, obviously didn't get to play against Texas. I was hurt. And, you know, we just go out there. We don't care what the logo is, and we're going to go out there and play hard. Um, I think it's really cool that, you know, they're obviously leaving the conference and, not cool that they're leaving but you know we get to play them again um for one last time but you know each it's going to be good with a lot of new opponents coming in but it's going to be a challenge to face new opponents in the sense that they got different skill sets different uh, things that we haven't seen before get byu on october 21st in provo at lavelle edwards stadium <clears throat> and again you're an arizona guy um byu has a bunch of arizona players mm -hmm. and so i'm gathering you know that you you have an eye, you understand what BYU is a little bit. So what what is your just observation of BYU football as they enter the Big Twelve? Man, it's it's gonna be a tough opponent. You know, you guys you got a bunch of poly dudes, you got a bunch of tough white dudes that are gonna play hard. You know, they're 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 gonna be older than most coming back from their mission. They're gonna be re really mature, really intelligent. Uh, a lot of my friends growing up, um, a bunch bunch of Mormon my bunch of Mormon friends that are just great people. They're gonna they're gonna smile on your face and then when you're on the field they're gonna come hit you so it's definitely uh it's definitely gonna be fun just going to that environment and especially so close um just a great atmosphere and um I, I know it's gonna be a really tough opponent but we're excited to go there for sure i think that's one of our our most exciting away games just to to go there and be a part of that fan base and i know it's gonna be a crazy environment so we're all excited do you have any friends that are either on the team or that went to byu from your high school area um yeah there's a quarterback who went there um jacob I, conover yeah jacob conover yep. arizona state now yep um couple other guys i think you know i've been in college a while so they're kind of you're recycled an old guy in, now yeah. recycled in and out but uh gunner, gunner romney the yeah, romney's gunner, there, yeah. Gunner, yeah gunner is my boy and uh and he obviously went to chandler the rival high my rival high school but yeah. a lot of great people um so it's going to be fun to to go play against them tyler you've been in college more than a lot of BYU guys just so we're on, <laughs> on the same picture <laughs> so, you're yeah. the veteran yeah you're red, the mature guy red yeah. shirt and COVID. you are, you are <laughs> the that okay we yep. do need to clarify one final thing What's hotter, the Arizona heat or the West Texas Ooh, heat? I like uh, it's probably Arizona. I think, I think if you just, I mean, it's supposed to be 120 this weekend in, in Chandler in Arizona. <laughs> That's criminal. A balmy 120. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. But the, where it gets you, you know, it's kind of ra been raining in, in Lubbock lately, so it's kind of getting more humid. You really don't see some humidity in West Texas. West Texas, you're going to get a lot more crazy weather. It'll be raining for 10 minutes pouring down and it'll be sunny the next and there'll be like a tornado coming and there's like a haboob so you don't really know a haboob yes you don't know what's, what's going to happen that's that big that big dust cloud that comes across oh, like okay. yeah, yeah they got those in no Arizona dust too, but yeah yeah Arizona's I mean I love I, I, I'm a I'm a heat weather I'm a I'm a sunny guy so I, I love it there but Man, right now it's it sucks. All right, when you when you're done with football, you you may have a future in meteorology. Okay, Tyler, let, let's go. <laughs> hey, thanks for hanging out. Yeah, I appreciate it, guys. Thanks, Good to see you guys.